Well, given the condition of the world today, politically, socially, uh, meteorologically, it seems like the end times are at hand. You know? uh, the challenges that we have in this day and age are myriad, and they can make us ponder the end times. Uh, this week in Luke's Gospel, uh, Jesus speaks about these signs and wonders. He speaks about how uh, the end times will come about. Uh, and certainly this was something that the early church was concerned about. This is something that uh, Jesus' disciples were concerned about. Uh, the restoration of the kingdom, uh, the restoration of their rule, and uh, their opportunity to um, be a voice in uh, the nations. Uh, and the challenge, of course, is the fact that um, when we see certain signs and wonders that we maybe associate with the end times, we wonder, is this the end? But as Jesus says, uh, when you hear of wars and interactions, do not be terrified, for such things must happen for us, but it will not immediately be the end. Uh, which is why we must prepare ourselves uh, this very day for the coming of the Lord, because we know not the day nor the hour, as Scripture tells us. We must be prepared that this is the coming of the Lord, uh, for we you know, don't know when that time will come. So each and every day is an opportunity to prepare for the coming of the Lord. You know, there are uh, many people who have gone around in these days preparing for Christmas. Uh, it seems that the stores, the malls, have been preparing <laughs> since uh, before Halloween. Uh, and uh, we have, um, ourselves as a church, uh, have that sense that uh, Christmas is coming, but uh, we have our Advent journey ahead of us. We have the opportunity to prepare for the coming of the Lord in a particular way uh, during the Advent season. And so it's appropriate that uh, the scriptures this week speak of the end times, for we come to the end of our liturgical year and we turn the page from one season to the next. Uh, we go from ordinary time, as we've been celebrating, to the season of Advent, a time of preparation. Uh, and it is a twofold, a, a, a prep, a twofold preparation, uh, for it is a twofold coming. Uh, coming of the Lord, yes, as the Christ child, but the coming of the Lord as the King of all creation. You know, this past Sunday we celebrated the feast of Christ the King, and his kingship is one of love and of service. It is not one that the world associates a kingdom with. Uh, we heard about a royal engagement earlier this week, and so, you know, that's what we think of oftentimes when we think of a kingdom. Yet, Jesus' kingship is not one uh, that is uh, worldly at all, for it is not rooted in the world. It is rooted in the eternal kingdom. It is rooted in God's eternal kingdom of peace, uh, which is why uh, that the signs and wonders that accompany the end times will come. Uh, but we not, must not be uh, you know, fooled. We must not give in to panic. We must not give in to um, the world and their uh, predilections as far as uh, portenting the signs, figuring out what this means or what that means. Uh, we would do well to prepare for the coming of the Lord by beginning in our own hearts, by giving ourselves the opportunity to move through the upcoming Advent season uh, meticulously and methodically, uh, using each week as an opportunity to grow closer to the Lord, to grow deeper in relationship with the Lord, so that when he comes, uh, whether it be at Christmas or whether it be today, uh, that we find ourselves prepared so that when he calls, we may answer.